I think that medical robotics is going to play an increasing role in surgery in virtually every field. It's become very prominent now in, in prostate uh, cancer surgery and in abdominal surgery um, for the uterus, and I think it'll branch out to virtually every surgical specialty. The uh, simpler robotic devices will probably come on stream within the next two to five years, I would think. There are some regulatory, regulatory hurdles, but I think that they can be surmounted. I think the longer uh, term technology, the robots that operate semi-autonomously, somewhat on their own, with supervision, I think that's more of a quantum leap that will take another five to ten years. But I think we have to be careful with these predictions. I mean, this technology can change very, very rapidly, and there is an extremely talented pool of recent graduates in engineering and medicine coming along and I would not underestimate them. I think that they're going to get very involved in this and the, um, the results may just be spectacular. The robot will likely only do procedures that, that the robot can do faster and uh, more safely and with better results than the surgeon himself. And there are um, situations at the moment where we think that is quite doable. So one of the hardest things for surgeons to do uh, through laparoscopic instruments is to sew things together. And that often happens at the end of the case when the team's been working very hard for a long time. And that's something that we think a robot might have a real role in. That, that robots can get into nooks and crannies that are very difficult for a surgeon to get to. And we can use artificial intelligence to enhance the robot's uh, activity. So I think in terms of dealing with cancer in children, that technology is really going to help us. And whatever form it comes in, robotics, new drugs, new treatments, uh, I think this technology should be embraced and it can really help us. And I think it, we all need to advocate for this technology, both as physicians and as families, uh, to make sure that uh, Canada can lead the way here. We have the talent, we have the expertise, um, but we need the support to really make this happen.